Yeah. All right, here we are, nine and nine. Number nine, there's always some new show that everyone's talking about, and the latest is actually the latest version of an old Japanese show. It's called Old Enough, and it's kind of a fun documentary show where you watch uh, to see if three to six-year-olds can go out into the world alone, navigate public oh, transportation, no. and finish an errand. Oh, boy. Check it out. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
is the newly formed, reformed football league that just had its opening weekend. And yeah. Maybe this is a way of getting uh, some publicity. A team cut running back Davion Smith because he requested pizza instead of chicken salad. Here's more. They cut him? Any disrespect of football or members, staff, USFL, hotel, etc., would not be tolerated. Me saying yes, I don't eat chicken salad. And I was like, is there another option? Walked in with pizza, and I was like, can I get a slice of pizza? He said no. And I was like, he said, is that going to be a problem? I said yes. That's so all I said. I didn't say no cuss word, no nothing. That's so all I said. I promise you, no disrespect on my dad's life. I promise you, I didn't say nothing disrespectful besides yes. Mm -hmm. This has got to be a joke. Well. Again, there must be something we don't understand. Yeah, a lot of people point out that Smith is one of the best running backs in the league, and he seemed pretty respectful there. The team is called the Pittsburgh Maulers. I didn't even know about this league. Did you guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they were go. all over Big last fan. weekend. Yeah. It just started? Yeah. Again. Okay. Trying to bring something. This can't be true. <laughs> well, they got it on TV. You know about this, too, Yeah, yeah I mean, the USFL is just rich with tradition. Yeah. It's just right. one of yeah, those things right. that they don't stand for. Right. Yeah. There's but a long standing feud be some kind of. Sure See, it, this sure is, is the only time we even yeah. knew about the USFL because of this story about right. the chicken trying sandwich. Trying to get, get some all, eyeballs on them, that's all. Yeah, yeah. it's right. all baloney. Number four for a short time in the 1920s. Tax payments were published in most of the newspapers. Oil heir John D. Rockefeller Jr. didn't like it. Neither did Henry Ford. Luckily for them, the Treasury Secretary was Andrew Mellon, oh, yeah. another guy from a rich family. And in 1924, Mellon and President Calvin Coolidge got Congress to cut the tax rate on rich people. One concession was allowing the information to be public. And the public started to see that the rich paid relatively low rates and after all the write-offs that they took, but even that did not last long. And in 1926, Congress made the rates even lower for rich people, and the wealthy also convinced Congress to get rid of the public disclosure. Like All right, number that. three. Behold the, oh boy, uh, Etruscan. <laughs> this is a, when you give them this many Etruscan reads, it's going to go off the rails. True. Etruscan nope. true. Etruscan, okay. Etruscan true. screw. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a difficult technique. Which is what we are done. living through yep. right now. All right, so don't be fooled uh. by its size. This little critter packs a lot of power into its inch and a half body. For example, its heart beats 1,200 times a minute. These shrews eat twice their own body weight in food each day. It has to get a meal in every four hours or it will die of starvation. And while they look cute and cuddly and adorable, these little fellas hunt rodent babies to eat at oh, night. That's mm. typical. Where do they live? Oh, shrew. See. Looks like a pipe. Mm, Looks like it's me. living in a pipe. Well, oh, that's uh, weird. Cute. All right, number three, here's something fun for the whole family. I just read number three. It seems like there's a lot of bad math going on here this morning. But. You Let can read it, but see. I'm just going to, I want no, everyone to know I'm playing. We yeah. read two I'm playing four under four protest. It's supposed to be number two, Robin. All right. Lighten up, Francis. I'm yeah. tired of this. Like, if we're going to be a legitimate You're news right. organization, yeah, at least get our math and we're correct. not getting the math right, I'm, I don't want to be associated with this two. place it's anymore. It's number two. Yeah. We've got enough credibility problems, especially in the weather office. <laughs> People say we're wrong all the time. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. I didn't mean yeah, to yeah. make so that. So this was image. supposed to be fun for the whole family. Yeah. I don't know if it still will be. We'll keep reading here. A new game called Spend Bill Gates Money. It's from Stubborn Games, and you can download it. It's right. a money spending simulator, and players get 60 seconds to spend all the money they can. The game is rated E for everyone, free to download. I bet it's tough to. I mean, you, you can only buy so many bicycles. You have right. to give. You have to give a lot away at once. There's yeah. an art form to that, right? It's yeah. like. Remember that show, Supermarket Sweep? Yeah. That you always had to go back to where the meat was. Yeah, get those big uh, hams. The big roasts and yeah, the, the hams. hams that's worth the most money. Sure, yeah. That'd be pressure, though. Imagine you get 60 seconds to buy something online. I mean, you probably couldn't get a single thing, right, when you enter all the, unless you have yeah, yeah. Amazon Prime or, yeah. Yeah. Well, that'd be fast. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Uh, number one, here's another song that you probably didn't know was a cover, so we're going to play the original first, and then we're going to oh, play the, uh, okay. the version that we know. All right. I am a huge fan of the En Vogue Salt and Pepper version. Right. Yeah, I do know this song. Yeah, but this the original, so the original was Linda Lindell. 
Exactly and that exactly was uh, Stax Records in 1968, and then En Vogue and Salt and Pepper did it in 1993. So the original was uh, 1968. That's a great jam. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What do you know? Yeah. And Vogue and Salt and Pepper. Peppa. <laughs> That's yeah. 9 and 9. Yeah. It's 9 and 9. Thanks for keeping it.